An investigation is underway now after a bullet hit a Southwest Airlines flight at Dallas Field last Friday. Southwest 2494, uh, we have to return to the gate. Uh, need to have an inspection done here on the aircraft. So the good news is no one was hurt, but this incident obviously is leaving a lot more questions than answers. Our Amelia McGavro is live at Dallas Love Field, and I know that you've spoken to some experts today. What are they telling you about this, Amelia? Yeah, Ken Nicole, experts tell me that this could have very well been a random incident, but also there is the possibility that this could have been a more targeted attack. And experts say if that's the case, this could very well pose as a larger national security threat. There are still a lot of questions surrounding how a Southwest Airlines flight departing for Indianapolis was hit by a bullet Friday night on a runway at Dallas Love Field. No one was hurt on board, but now concerns are being raised for a larger security threat. But now it's happening in the United States, in Dallas, Texas, where we live. That's concerning to me. Jay Arms is an international private investigator and security expert, and he says this incident could either be from a random stray bullet or even a targeted attack. They can be targeted when they're landing. They can be targeted when they're taking off. They can be targeted when they're parked. That's a big problem. And I mean, how do you control that? How big of a ring of perimeter do you have to establish to prevent an aircraft from being shot? It's difficult. Arms has decades of experience with international threats and says this incident in Dallas is alarming given the fact that there have been multiple recent shootings at airplanes in both Haiti and Mexico. A possibility of a copycat, someone copying the activities of what ha what's going on in Haiti right now. I mean, what if they start doing that across the country? We got a big problem if that is allowed to to take uh, take root. However, Arms does not think that this incident is a terroristic threat. My gut instincts tell me that this was not an act of domestic terrorism, and I don't believe that the airplane was targeted specifically in the sense that they were trying to take down this aircraft. Personally, I believe that this was someone who acted on an impulse. It's probably a younger person. And I'm also told that the FBI is assisting Dallas police with this investigation, but I also reached out to DPD personally and just asked them if they could explain their overall security protocols at Dallas Love Field, whether they patrol the surrounding area outside the airport frequently. However, DPD would, uh, they denied our request to comment on that. Ken Nicole. You know, it's, it's refreshing to hear that it's an isolated incident, but it is scary to think about, Amelia. Yeah. And I'm wondering if the security experts gave you any sort of indication about whether these types of crimes are, are hard to investigate or not. Yeah, good question, Nicole. Uh, basically, these experts tell me that this is a very unusual crime and they can be hard to investigate because think about it, it's going to be on a federal level. So they have to look at security cameras, not just in the airport, but outside of the airport, street security footage, as well as maybe even social media posts. So there's going to be a lot involved in this. And they said it's going to take some time to get those answered. But Arms did say to me today, he said that he believes that this case could be solved by the help of the public. It's really going to take the public stepping up if they saw anything that night to give police a call. Nicole. All right. Amelia McGavro on it for us. Thank you so much.